Thank you for asking. Um, I've just caught back from a little run. No, sorry, not a run. I went to the gym, actually. All my days are blurring into one. I went to the gym to this morning to do a little workout. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to have another run to do my two workouts in a day. I'm trying to do two workouts a day on a Monday and Friday. I think it's a good way to kind of book and to kind of start the week and to book end the end of the kind of quote unquote working week. Whilst everyone's outside, you know, getting fucked up and having a good time on a Friday, I kind of specify some time at the end of the Friday to go and have a workout. So if I do decide to go out, it's going to kind of be like, um, it's going to be a bit of a chore, right? Because I'm tired, I'm sore, you know, I'm just in general fatigued. So for me to come back home, get changed, go work out and then come back, get changed again and go out, it's going to require a real, real, real um, effort. And it's also going to have to be something that I'm really looking forward to going to. It's, it's not going to be some like wishy-washy thing. It's going to be like an actual event. That I'm actually like, you know, you know, I have to go to this thing. I can't not miss, I, I can't miss it for instance. But yeah, um, here I am, man, feeling good, feeling awake. Sober October is, we're into the third week now, aren't we? Sober October, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good. I have to be honest, um, you know, it's, you always, whenever you do stuff like this, you, it starts to, you start to realise just how much of an indulgent creature you are, right? I think I've kind of prided myself over the last few years that I've kind of maintained some level of quite, some level of um, reasonable self-control, right? Where I'm not allowing myself to get pulled and dragged into different situations that I'm not in that i'm not kind of um dictating myself right i'm not allowing myself to be influenced by people and i just try and generally kind of you know move to the beat of my own drum but of course as you progress through life as you get older as you get a little bit more lax you look up resting on your laurels you start to forget those practices and start those things that kind of held you together in the early days and i think for me personally the last couple of months or maybe the last year and a half has been one of those kind of years where you know you've, i've kind of hit some kind of creative blocks i've kind of been questioning the things i've been doing and you know just generally life has been a bit topsy-turvy so in those little occasions of doubt um you know you start to start to comfort yourself in the indulgences and the kind of quote-unquote um, leisures of life and you know by and large as anyone knows when you're trying to achieve things or you're trying to get somewhere in your life where you're trying to you know actualize your dreams those things that you think are aiding you to relax or take your mind off things are if anything just exasperating the problems that you have they're just masking over the issues or they're just a band-aid yeah for this open wound that you have right this bullet hole wound you have you're just taping up on a band-aid eventually that thing is going to drop off and eventually you know you're going to expose yourself to the elements and eventually it's going to be disease and all that sort of stuff so yeah it's not really a good way to go about things so now with the Cerebral october things what it's allowed me to do it's allowed me to kind of recalibrate and to kind of get things back in, back under the normal, back into order, right? For instance, like, this is another good example. I did it on Friday. So I did it on Saturday. Great event, don't get me wrong. But usually, if I did it on fr Saturday, it doesn't necessarily mean I have to go out and get fucked up, right? But usually, when I DJ on the weekends, I use it as an excuse just to go out and have a good time. Now, immediately, I'm not going out and getting as wasted as I would on a normal Friday, Saturday because I'm working. I try and keep my drinking down to a minimum or down to like, you know, the bare minimum, like maybe a couple of shots before I start just to kind of get me loose. But I tend to kind of, you know, let the party go on and I get home late. I'm not going to get, but, it's, just, but it's, it's better than going out the whole day and me drinking and getting high, right? So you end up doing that. But then what you realize is that when you're in sober October is that you don't necessarily have to do that. You just go to the thing that you're doing. So I had a gig, I DJ in a bar, Heathcote got Star for my night called Labatees. Pick up everyone that came down, that was, it was a good night. You can just go and play and come back home. Because it's essentially you are doing, it's another, it's one of my other jobs I do outside of my, you know, my usual nine to five, right? It's another thing that I do outside of it. For another, it's a hobby that I'm loving and I enjoy. But people hire me and they call me or they email me or they request me to come play their bar to keep the mood going and to make sure patrons are still drinking and all that malarkey and just create like a good soundtrack tonight. So I could effectively turn that into just a job. I just go in, I do my job and I go out. Now, it's difficult because everyone around you is wasted and high and drunk, whatever it may be, but it's effectively just a job. And I found it so so much more pleasurable to do. And I actually felt genuinely tired when I left the place that I couldn't get out of there soon enough. As soon as I played the last track at 1 a.m., I packed up all my shit, got paid and just ran out, right? And went back home, had a McDonald's and just went to bed. So that can, that can happen. And I realized that, oh, you know what? What ends up happening is that if I did it on a Friday and then I've got a night to go out on a Saturday, I can do it. But if I'm getting wasted on the day that I'm, I'm DJing on a Friday and then I'm trying to go out again on a Saturday, it's just going to be an absolute horror show. And I think as as I proved or as I was uh, or as as I realized when I went to Berlin recently the other week that, you know, I'm probably not at the level that I was beforehand, like raving wise. I'm not 
I'm not willing to do the things needed to kind of keep my night going, right? Because people, you know, you take in an inconspicuous amount of drugs and whatever, maybe just to keep your night going. And I'm not willing to do that. I don't want to fry my brain. So I'm, I'm only willing to go to a certain level. And then after that, it's a point of no returns for me, no diminishing returns so much so. So I realized I have to kind of pace myself in a really educated manner, especially with the nightlife stuff that I do outside of it, whether it's taking pictures, whether it's DJing and stuff. I'm not the regular punter, right? I spend a lot of my time outside at night, so I can't necessarily afford to go out three or four times in a week because I'm DJing two of those times, two of those nights out of the week. And that requires prep beforehand, right? That requires traveling there earlier. That requires having to set up. It's quite tiring standing up the whole time. It's a lot of work to get that thing to work in the way you want it to work. So I'm really thankful for about Sober October because, allow, again, it's allowing me to kind of get things back into normal. And again, this is going back to my, this is what I did beforehand, but I just, I just kind of let things get out of control. I was doing this before. I wasn't drinking during the week. I didn't have any alcohol at home. I kept all my going out stuff for going out stuff. I made sure that I didn't go to any random club nights during the week. I just went on the Friday or the Saturday. I did it on the Saturday just to kind of make sure I kept the balance. Um, I trained every day, Monday to Friday, without exception, because I knew if I did go out on the Friday or Saturday, there's no way I'll be training on a Saturday. So the, the the mandatory days of training or working out had to be Monday to Friday. Those were non non negotiable. And if I didn't have to go out on the on the Saturday, Sunday, and I didn't miss my workout, I wouldn't feel as guilty. I wouldn't feel as bad about myself. But sometimes if I was aiming to imagine I didn't work out on a Wednesday or I missed a Thursday or Friday and then I was aiming to make it up on a Saturday Sunday and I missed out of it because I had to go went out I'd feel so shitty I'd feel like a failure I feel like I'm cheating myself you know what I mean but now I have a mandatory Monday to Friday workouts there's no no negotiating about that there's no drinking between um, those dates at home. I don't have any alcohol at home. And if I do go out, it's like after my workouts are done after that 6 p.m. time. And again, like I said, if I plan to have two workouts um, on the Monday and Friday, or especially on the Friday, if I have two workouts a, a day, one in the morning, one after work, it's quite hard to then come back home, change, and then go out again on that Friday, right? Because you've worked out twice. You've had your nine to five job that you're doing. Um, you've had, you know, talking to your colleagues, doing your work, running around town, coming back home from the commute, rush out of traffic on a Friday, and then you're working out after work, and then you're having to come back home and shower, and then go out again. It's quite a lot of work. So that you, I'm creating these scenarios where it's only allowing me to go out on these particular times, and also after Berlin too. I, I, I wouldn't mind just like completely curtailing going out week, weekly on the, in during the week in London, saving for the special events I'm going to, like for instance, the inner visions now at Fold, and then kind of keep, and then maybe specifying some time during the month um, to go away for a couple of weekends, right? Go to Frankfurt, from Johnson, B B um, Berlin for Bergheim Panorama Bar, Greece Müller, and all these up and K and Club Division here, blah, 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 blah um, about blank, right? Go to these kind of places, maybe Barcelona, maybe Madrid. Um, maybe go to Tbilisi, right? Um, and go to those kind of and go to um, what's it called? Bata, Bata, I've got the place in Tbilisi in, in Georgia, but that place, right? Like maybe schedule some time like that way. So have a weekend you schedule to go out and get fucked up, and then you spend the rest of your time in the UK just you know chilling and trying to achieve your dreams. Because you know at the moment now time is running out kind of not so much but you know you can't stand still, you can't rest in your laurels. You just have to keep working hard, and I can't afford to just have you know days after days or weeks at an end just kind of blocked out just to me just getting fucked up i have to kind of be on my a game so that's kind of the thing that i'm thankful for so october and again it's a standard thing we all know this already but you know it's good to know ahead of time um talking about